Kintsuki's Kingdom by Michael Morpurgo. The people who put this photo story together are Alexandra, Brooke, Tyler, and Connor. The story begins with both of Michael's parents being laid off. After that, his dad left them. A couple of weeks later, the family received a call from Michael's dad. When they got the phone call, his dad said that he had bought a boat and he wanted them to sail the world with him. So his mom and dad got their license and then they were off on the Peggy Sue. In the rest of these pages, the trip was good, but one stormy night, Stella barks at something and after that, they're all in the water with Michael's lucky soccer ball. And after that, they wash up on a mysterious island and then a mysterious man is giving them food. At the end of these pages, the man, the mysterious man, puts out Michael's fire. This mysterious man's name is Kintsuki. Kintsuki tells Michael not to make fires and not to go swimming. Michael gets mad at Kintsuki and goes swimming, but gets stung by a jellyfish. Kintsuki nurses Michael back to health and the two become friends. Kintsuki tells Michael what happened in Japan when he lived there. The war was very bad and all his people are dead. One night, Kintsuki wakes Michael up and takes him to the beach. They watch turtles be born and chase away the birds so that the turtles can make it to the sea safely. It was a rainy day and Michael sees a boat he thinks can take him home. Kintsuki realizes it is the boat of the killer men. They gather all their rantings and hide in the cave. Later, when the men leave, Michael sees another boat. He sees the Peggy Sue. They come toward the island and find Michael.